Hi everybody, there's a lot of uh, misinformation on pedal assisted mountain bike, electric mountain bikes. So I thought I'd make this video and go over my high bike FSRX uh, mountain bike uh, to maybe answer some questions. Now when a lot of non-e-bike uh, uh, riders hear about e-bikes, they think that, especially mountain bikes, they think that they're dirt bikes, they think that they're mopeds, they think that they're motorcycles. Uh, far, far from that. You know, th this engine's 350 watts, this motor, uh, so it puts out about half of a horsepower. A moped puts out three horsepower, 250cc dirt bike puts out about 40 horsepower, and, you know, motorcycles are 80 and up. Now, with the power off, this bike is, for all intents and purposes, it's a mountain bike. Okay, I'm gonna go over some of the components, you know, just like any other mountain bike, you have your, you have your handlebar, right? Got my rock shock front fork, right? And front disc brakes. I have a seat, seat post, goes up and down, pedals, right, crank. Here we have a Shimano rear derailleur, right, works just like any other derailleur. Plenty of mountain bikes with this exact uh, model on it. Uh, we got our chain, right, standard mountain bike chain. Standard mountain bike tires, right, and those special tires. A knobby for you know, using off-road. Rear brake, skin Shimano. Got Shimano brake levers. Right. Another brake lever. We have a shifter. Yeah. Shifts just like a Shimano shifter. Yeah. It's 10 speed. There's no, uh, there's, no, there's no front derailleur here. It's just one cog. The rear's 10 cog, so it's a 10 speed. So you, know, you have your up and down, right? Shifted. Just like, just like any other bike, right? You're going uphill, upshift it, you go to a higher cog, and straight away going downhill, you downshift it. Uh, now right now, this is the head unit to actually control the motor. Uh, right now it's turned off. Use this on the fly to adjust how much power you're actually uh, getting from the motor. You know, we can do Eco, which is about 25%, Tour, which is 50 Sport, which is 75 Turbo, which is 100 Now, that's not 100% propulsion. That's just, if it's set to Turbo, the motor's putting out 100% of whatever it can put out, which is, in this case, it's 350 watts. Now, I'm going to turn this off, so it's not providing any power. Now... As I mentioned, this is just a standard standard mountain bike, right? Nothing different. It's framed just like every other mountain bike out there. Front fork, rear shock, mountain bike tires, seat, handlebars, same shifters, exactly. Now when you pedal, obviously, when you pedal a bike, you know, you press down on the pedals, right? So you're pedaling, and the rear tire moves. Now if you noticed, nothing magical happened with this bike didn't start flying, you know, you turn, you turn the pedals, rear tire move, you stop turning the pedals, rear tire starting to slow down. If you're on the bike, you come to a stop, right, eventually. Now I'm gonna see how fast that I can turn this crank and see how fast that we can get the uh, speedometer going, right? So again, the power, power's off. <laughs> about 33 miles per hour, right? Notice I stopped pedaling, speed's going down, right? Okay, now I'm gonna turn this on turbo to run now, okay? Now, when you pedal a bike, uh, there's two forces that you know, your, your body's overcoming. It is the downward force of pressing, right? So it's either hard or you're easy to press down depending on what gear you're in, right? If you go to a higher gear, it's gonna be a lot easier to press down, right? There's also cadence, which is how fast you're turning, right? 
Now, because of the gear ratios, if you're in a higher gear, it's easier to pedal, right? So this is easier to push down, but you have to go faster, right? Okay, I'm sure we've all been on, on a hill. We've been in our highest gear, and we've been, you know, going around like a, like a clown, right? Doing our cadence. Now, again, we're on 100% power here. So what this motor does is it detects how much force you're putting on this pedal. Okay, and when you reach a threshold, uh, it adds power to your, to your downstroke for all intents and purposes, right? So where this may take a 10 to push it down without power, at 100%, you know, in turbo mode, it's, it's cutting it down to, to a five, right? So I'm gonna turn this, right? It's still hard, right? You can see the tire going, and it's going just like, just like a normal mountain bike, right? Stop pedaling, tire stops. Motor doesn't propel you at all. It just makes it easier for you to press down. Now, if you notice, the motor's providing me some power here, but the cadence is the same. So a lot of people say, well, you're not getting any exercise because, you know, the motor's helping you out. The motor doesn't change your cadence. It just makes it easier to press it down. So, you know, it's, it's like getting on an exercise bike. Instead of it being on hard, it's on medium, you know? And let me tell you, if you're going like this on an exercise bike on medium, you're still gonna, you're still gonna run out of energy, you know? Uh, at this point, you're getting more cardio, right? You can get more cardio uh, than strength training, right? Strength training, you would be, oh, hard, hard. Power assist, you're getting cadence and you're getting more cardio workout. So you get different type of workout. And, you know, as we mentioned, you can change how much power you want. If you want to ride it like a normal mountain bike with no assist and get strength training, just turn it off. Turn it on a little, you know, whatnot. Ride it around all day with the motor off. When you start getting tired, start adding power, right? Okay, so we're on turbo. And I'm gonna spin this as fast as I can. We'll see how fast we can go. Uh, as we, you know, with it off, we've got about, I think it was 33 miles per hour. So let's, let's see. We were 36 miles per hour. So while it was easier to turn, right? Same miles per hour, right? So it's no faster than, you know, a normal mountain bike. It doesn't propel you. Uh, as you saw, I had to, you know, it's still, it's still hard to, to turn it, right? And as you notice, the cadence is the same. Now, This is a geared bike just like any other bike. And because it is making it easier, easier to press down, right? It's making it easier to press down. That lets us ride in higher gears or lower gears than we normally would. So the bike will get up to speed faster because whereas someone has to be maybe in fifth gear starting out, you can start out in third gear and have, you know, this rotation is moving you faster because of the, the gear ratio, right? Okay, now where this bike really excels, you know, a lot of people think, you know, it's an electric motor, it's nothing but fast, right? It's, it's not fast. As we saw, it's just as fast as, you know, with power off as a normal, normal unassisted mountain bike. Uh, where this excels is, you know, when you're going up a hill, you're happiest when you're in a higher gear because it's easier to turn the tire, right? The same thing goes for the motor. The motor is basically another you helping you pedal, right? It's not, it's not giving um, uh, propulsion, right? It's giving, it's giving force. Now, if you 
switch up to a higher gear, right, because you're going, going up a hill, what's, what's going to happen, right? Let's, uh, let's see. Let's, let's, uh, let's shift up to a higher gear here. Let's keep going. Right. Okay. Now we're in tenth gear, right? And we're on turbo. We're actually we're gonna turn it off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it off. Stop the tire. Now, as you see, my cadence is very fast. My tire, let me see how fast I can get it going. And we got 15 miles an hour, right? Now obviously you shift to the highest gear when you're going up a hill, right? So let's stop this. Let's turn it on turbo. And let's try our cadence. See what happens when we put it on turbo, right? Again, look, the cadence is faster and we're at 13 miles per hour, right? Now what's gonna happen is you can see that the, the speeds were the same no matter if I had it on turbo or if I didn't. I wasn't putting a lot of force to turn the crank. So the motor was not giving me any uh, power, uh, if you will. Now if we were on a hill, right, it would be hard to press these pedals down, right? So it's going to give me energy and, and push and will help me push these pedals around. But, as you notice, the cadence was really fast, right? So just like going up a hill in a higher gear, right? Your cadence is, is crazy and you'll look like a fool if you drive around, try and ride around on your bike, you know, in a high gear. But going up hills is immensely uh, more easy. So for a mountain biker, especially someone who doesn't mountain bike all the time, doesn't have strong legs, you know, that really helps them uh, either go up uh, small hills, you know, that they, that they run into that they weren't expecting, uh, or if they ride all the way down to the bottom of the hill, they can more easily ride back to the top. Now this bike, uh, as I mentioned, when it hits 20 miles per hour, the motor cuts out and doesn't provide any power whatsoever. That doesn't mean that you can ride uphill 20 miles an hour. Uh, I've had it 20 miles per hour uphill on road, Right, where I have great traction, uh, and I'm standing on the pedals, you know, with my, my suspension locked out, so I'm not bobbing, and I'm doing maybe 22, 23 miles per hour, right? I doubt you'd get 20 miles per hour on a trail. So I'm gonna go set the camera up, and we'll see how fast I can make it uh, up the hill, up a hill, uh, and assisted and non-assisted.